Look at this, how pretty this looks. <laughs> this looks amazing. <laughs> Should we try? Yeah. All right. Welcome back guys. Today we are doing a very interesting dish called son-in-law eggs. Now there are many legends around why the dish is called son-in-law eggs. There are very funny interesting stories so I'll just leave it for you guys to find out why is it called so. This is a Thai dish and is one of my favorite appetizers to serve for dinner. Let me explain the flavors of son-in-law eggs. We're going to prepare this delicious sauce, which would be sweet and savory and balanced and tangy. We're going to serve it over our crispy eggs. This is a very delicious dish, one of my favorite appetizers because also it's very easy to make and it's surely a dish to impress your guests. So I'm using chicken eggs to cook this dish, but if you have access to duck eggs, that would be great. I have already brought the eggs to room temperature before I boil them. The reason being cold eggs would crack as soon as they hit the boiling water. Before I boil and fry the eggs, I like to prepare the sauce in advance. It just makes it very convenient for you to serve it. It's a very simple sauce. Using any kind of pan, add a drizzle of oil and throw in the chopped shallots. I've already peeled and chopped the shallots. This would sort of help create a gravy and sort of give a texture to our sauce. As soon as the shallots turn light golden, I'm adding a dash of water, followed by the palm sugar. Now prepare the palm sugar in advance. Palm sugar is the sap of coconut palm tree and it just lends a very amazing depth of flavor. It tastes like caramel. I think it's natural sugar, so it's very healthy. But if you do not have access to palm sugar, you can use brown sugar. Palm sugar is used in a wide range of Thai cuisines, so do check out my lab salad video to see how I use palm sugar in my salad. Stir everything well and let the palm sugar dissolve. Next is tamarind paste. You can either buy the store-bought tamarind paste or prepare your own paste at home. I have a block of tamarind preserve and I'm just using a spoonful and letting it dissolve in water. Add the tamarind paste. And then finally some fish sauce and red pepper flakes. So you guys can see we have added some saltiness, some sugar, some savoriness, some tanginess. All these sauces together are going to create a perfect melange of deliciousness. I'm stirring everything well, letting the sauce simmer. The sauce is just turning into a great flavor bomb. Finally, I like to add some aromatics. These are the upper stalks of lemongrass, which I usually keep in the freezer. Please watch my lemongrass chicken stir fry video, where I've shown how to prepare the lemongrass. Let everything simmer for a few minutes. And I think taste testing is very important at this stage. If you want to add more sugar, that's okay. If you want to add some more fish sauce for more saltiness, that's fine. Do as you like, give it some taste and see if you need anything else. You already have the list of ingredients below, but do taste test and season as per your liking. I think the sauce is ready now. Now let's prepare the eggs. I'm adding the room temperature eggs into the boiling water. Please be very specific with the time here. I'm boiling eggs for only 8 minutes. As soon as it's time, I'm transferring the eggs into a bowl of cold water. Transferring the eggs into the cold water will stop the cooking process. 
We do not want soccer like hard boiled eggs. Now I'm peeling the eggs one by one and pat drying them. This step is important because we are going to deep fry them. Savory egg dishes are such an important part of Asian food, I feel. I'm sure you guys have seen my Thai omelette video. It's yummy. And then there are Japanese soy eggs and then tea dyed eggs. There is an array of egg dishes in Asia. My first experience of eating boiled and then deep fried eggs was as a child growing up in Assam. Deep fried boiled eggs would be just served like this in weddings. But when I went to Thailand, when I was living there and working there, I came across Thai son-in-law eggs. Oh my God, the sauce was so delicious. I found it really, really amazing. And I thought I have to make this recipe for you guys. Once the eggs are fried properly from all sides, transfer them onto a plate with a paper towel. Let the eggs cool and you don't want to burn your hands. Once the eggs cool down, cut each of them into two pieces. The eggs are boiled well enough so that the egg white stays strong but slightly soft from inside. I'm transferring the eggs onto a plate and some garnish goes on top. I'll generously add the sauce but also I like to keep the sauce on the side just in case somebody wants to add a bit of it on the rice on top of their eggs. What else do we add? Some cilantro for green and some chili for the red. You may add some deep fried chopped garlic, but I prefer it this way. Gosh, this looks so beautiful, so delicious, and I'm ready to eat it. Look at this, how pretty this looks. This looks amazing. <laughs> Should we try? Yeah. All right. It's nice and crispy from outside, so yeah. It's perfectly crispy, mm. perfectly soft. Mm. And guys, we cooked it exactly for eight minutes. So the yolk, it's still kind of gooey, soft. Egg white is tough enough to hold it inside. It's amazing. Yeah, it's perfectly made. This is such a mood lifter. Oh, completely. And, and the sweet hints of the tamarind. Yeah. I just lending such amazing flavor to this. Yes. Yeah. Wow, it's just perfect. It's a perfect sweet and savory appetizer. And I think, you know, when you serve this to your guests, they would know what's coming further for dinner. And they would, you know, you'll just set your standards <laughs> so high. Kids really like this dish. So in that case, just omit the chilies and serve it as it is. And let's talk about the sauce. Yeah. This is delicious. Yeah. I have made some extra sauce like you guys saw because you can have the sauce with some sticky rice, egg on the side. That's a dish on its own then. Shall we take another bite? Yep. I'm going to go with the whole. The whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Wait for me. Wait for me. Cheers. Mm. 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 I don't think you can really stop eating this. <laughs> if you like this video, give a thumbs up guys. And do not forget to leave your comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy cooking.